a black man and he's going to protect the brown man from this white woman. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Karens who ruined their own lives. 49 year old James Ianazzo is seen throwing his shake at the teenage employees. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most opinionated and entitled folk who, through their own terrible actions, received some righteous and delicious karma. Have you ever met a Karen in real life? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Key Fob Kelly. In 2018, Darion Tolles attempted to go inside his apartment building in St. Louis, Missouri. However, Hillary Brooke Muller wasn't keen on that idea. She stood in his way and blocked his path. As they spoke, Muller acted as though she owned the building. She didn't, and kept asking which unit Tolles lived in, demanding to see his key fob. All it's I'm living. asking is what unit? But you're not, I don't need to tell you that information, man. If you want to come into my building. It's not your building, you're not the owner. Even though he had a key to get in, she continued harassing him inside after Toll had to force his way past her. No. Excuse me. No. Excuse me. Are you kidding me? Where are you going? Once the video was released, many accused Mueller of being racist. However, she claimed it was because she didn't recognize Toll. Regardless, Mueller's employer, Tribeca STL, fired her for her dodgy behavior. Her now former employer has issued a statement about her firing using the words racism and racial profiling. Number nine, Texas Karen. If they knew so great in your country, then stay there. In 2022, a group of four Indian American women were walking to their cars after dinner in Plano, Texas. Instead of going home after a nice night, they had to endure the racist tirade of Mexican American Esmeralda Upton. Go back to India. Why? Who can, who can? We don't want you here. We don't Using a flurry of slurs and insults, the unhinged Upton also struck the women several times and threatened them. Oh, oh, oh. Come, come closer. Come closer. Oh my God, guys, record. She's hitting me. She's hitting me. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my God. Feeling in danger from the abuse and attacks, they called the cops who arrived shortly after. Later on, Upton was arrested for assault and making threats. But that's not all. At the time of writing, two of the four women, Bidisha Rudra and Indrani Banerjee, have issued lawsuits against Upton for the traumatizing incident. Number eight, Permit Patty. Have you ever seen a child harmlessly selling something on the street to raise money for something and thought, yeah, I'm gonna ruin their life? If so, you and Allison Edel could be besties. This woman don't want to let a little girl sell some water. In 2018 in San Francisco, eight-year-old Jordan Rogers was selling bottled water on the street to help her mom financially and go to Disneyland. Edel, infuriated by the constant noise as she worked from home, called the cops about Rogers' lack of a permit. Well, you can hide all you want. The whole world gonna see you, boo. Yeah, and um, illegally selling water without a permit? As you can imagine, this didn't go down well with the internet, which pointed out the racist overtones. With all that pressure and dispensaries refusing to stock products from Edel's employer, she was forced to resign as CEO of the cannabis company Treat Well Health. It is Miss Attell's belief that Treat Well, its employees and patients should not have to suffer because of a situation that occurred in an escalated moment. Number seven, Victoria's Secret Karen. <laughs> This is crazy. In 2021, something strange happened at a Victoria's Secret store in Milburn, New Jersey, while Ijoma Ukenta was doing some shopping. Ukenta reportedly claimed she asked Abigail Elphick to step back as she was too close when they browsed. So she went to the staff and told them Ukenta threatened her. When Ukenta began filming, Elphick attempted to hit her before she sobbed on the floor. I never thought nothing like this would happen to me. She just tried to run and hit me. And now she. Did you see her? Later, Elphick stated her reaction was due to a panic attack from being filmed. <laughs> In the aftermath, Ukenta created a GoFundMe page for legal costs against Elphick. Within the page, she also criticized the handling of the situation by the security and police. At the time of writing, over $104,000 has been donated. Number six, 
Coughing Karen As most people came together during the global events to support each other, some did their best to do the opposite. In 2021, masked shoppers in a Super Saver store in Lincoln, Nebraska, attempted to get their groceries calmly. However, Janine Hoskovec had other ideas. With a smirk on her unmasked face, she dramatically coughed at people, pretending it was allergies. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm coming through. <coughs> when folk protested Hoskovec's grotesque actions, she patronizingly called them cute and sheep before descending into a rant about other people's health. After a very quick investigation, her employer, the software company SAP, fired Hoskovec. Well, guys, a team of internet sleuths quickly identified the woman seen in this video, and in a matter of days, she's now lost her job. Number 5. Smoothie Thrower In 2022, employees at Robex in Fairfield, Connecticut, were trying to get through the day. Well, not on James Iannozzo's watch. As a person who's had multiple customer service jobs, I've dealt with people like this, and I don't think we get paid enough to deal with it. After buying a smoothie there, he gave it to his son at home, who had an allergic reaction. After medical attention, Iannozzo arrived at the store and launched into a tirade of insults, slurs, and threats. So, you don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we honestly don't However, the employees claimed he never mentioned the peanut allergy to them. He finished it off by throwing the smoothie at the staff. 49-year-old James Ianazzo is seen throwing his shake at the teenage employees. I'm calling the police! Well, it all went wrong for Ianozo. Firstly, he was arrested and received one year of probation. Then, Ianozo was fired by Merrill Lynch. Finally, he faced a lawsuit from one of the employees. But in September, the case was settled for $7,500. Number 4. San Fran Karen James Wanio was probably pretty startled in 2020 when he turned around and saw Lisa Alexander staring at him, looking like a mix between a character from Smile and Get Out. At the time, he had just finished writing Black Lives Matter with chalk on a property in San Francisco. Well, Alexander and her husband Robert apparently knew the person who lived there. And you don't know if I live here or we're if this actually, is my property. We actually do know. That's why we're asking. Oh, really? Because yeah. you live here, right? You no, said so. Because we know the person who does live here. Oh, okay. This is odd since Wanillo actually resided there for years. The couple then called the cops on the activist. I think they had a problem with the message. And I also believe that they thought I was hurting property values. That's Karen, and she's calling the cops. Once the video was released, Alexander had to put the website of her company, LaFace Skincare, offline temporarily, and she publicly apologized to Juanilo, while Robert was fired from the financial firm Raymond James. Number 3. Radio Karen It's not every day a Karen films her own terrible behavior for the world to see and judge. He's a black man, and he's going to protect the brown man from this white woman. But Diana Ploss is on another level considering she had a little bit of fame. In 2020, through Facebook Live, the conservative radio host recorded herself berating landscapers in Nashua, New Hampshire, as they were working on the street. What's the first thing I do? Go for my phone. phone. Gotta do a live stream. <laughs> Have to show people what's going on. Plus, seemingly had an issue with the workers speaking Spanish. Okay, but it is America. It is America. It is America. You should be speaking English. She repeatedly told them to speak in English before asking if any of them were, quote, illegal and saying their work was, quote, communism. Jeez. Afterward, the radio station WSMN cut ties with PLOS and the show she had hosted there for the past couple of years. We at WSMN value freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and assembly. We will not tolerate discrimination, racism, or hatred. Number 2. Family of Karens In 2021, Johnny Martinez was doing his job by checking cars for permits in the car park of a residential building in Nashville, Tennessee. However, he realized he was being followed by a Karen family duo, Bitsy Brennan and her son Edward. The two demanded to know what he was doing there, ignoring the ID badge around Martinez's neck. All the cops are. The whole cops? Yeah, this is not your apartment. This is not my apartment. Yes. Cool. If it is, I don't need to tell them anything. Do you have an ID on you, maybe? Things quickly escalated when Edward attempted to attack Martinez in response to him filming the confrontation. You're attacking me, seriously? Put that, seriously? get that phone out of your no. Hey. Hey. 
In response, Bitsy called the cops to come and sort this out. However, the duo apparently left before the police arrived. Once the video went viral, Bitsy was reportedly fired from her job at UBS, while Edward was charged with assault. Now you're leaving. Okay. Yeah, it's unsafe. Yeah, no worries. I'm gonna have you arrested, buddy. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Central Park Karen If this incident hadn't been filmed, it could have ended poorly for the victim. She understood the power she wielded at that moment to call police as a white woman on a black man as a scary black man. In 2020, Christian Cooper was in Central Park in New York City, enjoying some bird watching. But he spotted Amy Cooper, no relation, with her dog that was off its lead, against the park's rules. When Christian asked her to leash the dog and then offered it a treat, Amy exploded. While strangling the poor pup as she held its collar tightly, she called the police, put on an act, and claimed, quote, an African-American man threatened her. Wow. Please call the cops. I'm gonna tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. After the backlash, Amy temporarily gave up her dog to a shelter and was fired by her employer, Franklin Templeton. She later took them to court for illegal dismissal, only to lose. In a tweet, Cooper's employer, Franklin Templeton Investments, saying they don't tolerate racism of any kind. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.